Hello, this is Doreen June Oberg, and welcome to another segment of Pianists Becoming Organists. This morning, uh, we are just on the heels of uh, following, actually, Thanksgiving. Uh, our church does have a service on Thanksgiving Day, so then, of course, Sunday. Uh, this Sunday is apparently called Christ the King Sunday, and boy, have you got the anthems. Lots of anthems. So... When you've got a nice big uh, Rogers 950B, it's one is uh, challenged. Which anthems can you do well on this? So I had to look over all of them pretty carefully. Be Thou My Vision, that one moves around a lot. Uh, some of the other anthemy hymns that we're going to do Sunday move around a lot. However, however, good luck is in store on our final hymn. Again, borrowing from the uh, 1982 Episcopalian hymnal and the music by, uh, very familiar, but music from Tallis, Thomas Tallis. Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing. Can do. This one I can do. G major. Basically, uh, a tonic dominant, tonic dominant stuff for you music theorists. That's the uh, one and the five chord. Lots of one and five. It's short, it's got six verses. Organists, musicians, don't forget that six verse down here. Um, but this one is doable. So, shoving my music over a little bit, because I am usually am playing down here. Uh, there are a few times when I have to move up into the, um, the higher regions, but today, as I practice this, hymn number 493, Music by Talus, O oh, For a Thousand Tongues to Sing, G Major. I'm going to be basically covering left foot G, right foot D. Now, measure two. Measure two, you don't have to, but there is a pretty significant chord change. Everybody's ears hear it. So all you have to do is be willing to pivot with your right foot onto that E. Um, oh, for a thousand tongues to pivot, tongues to pivot, <laughs> D, E, G, D, E, and back. It's just right there. You just have to remember. Can't be distracted. Got to focus. So that's the one to remember. And that's really it. I didn't find anything else of great difficulty uh, a person has to decide um, when they want to go down to the, the big D. Oh, yeah. Um, in G major, there's no lower pedals on this. I'm not sure you'd want them. There is a contra, and I think the contra um, produces lower sounds, but I'm not going to. Again, our subwoofers are pretty big, can be overpowering for a smaller sanctuary so we don't want to give people headaches no uh bloody noses right we don't want that so i've also recorded oh for a thousand tongues on the clavinova a lot of times with the um congreg congregation they seem to be able to hear the preciseness of the clavinova so i am going to let that carry my intro and then we're going to go through it so, uh, give a listen. You can watch my right foot pivot on that measure two from D to E real quick. Here we go.
pre-stamped for this one just to open up the sound a little more on the grate. This is all on the grate. I'm not doing anything else on the grate. So, good luck with your practice on O4000 Tongues, and we will see you next time.